I think about how tough it is for someone to be homeless. Everyone should have a place to live. Helping people is important to me because people just need a little kindness in their life. My name is Liam Hannon. The mission of Liam's Lunches of Love is to give food to people experiencing homelessness. Right before the summer of 2017, I told my parents that I didn't want to go to summer camp, so they told me that I had to do something productive. One of the coolest things we found was this website called Brain Chase. They have to do academic challenges to work their way through the treasure hunt. One of the subjects that Liam picked was service. I thought because there are people right outside of my home that are experiencing homelessness, why don't I make them lunch? I was like, you're a genius. <laughs> I kind of had big ideas at first, something huge like getting a food truck. This one definitely. But then I realized that I need to think smaller. I knew if I started small, it could grow and go uphill and it'll get larger and be better. Usually when people think about Cambridge, they think of Harvard and MIT and expensive real estate. Um, but what they don't think about is that we have over 500 homeless people on our streets every night. I was really scared at first. I thought that people might be mean to me, but once I gave the first lunch out, I realized that mostly everyone was really nice. When I gave someone a lunch, their face lit up. And from there, things just grew. The next week we did 50 lunches, and then we did 60 and 70, and it was very quick that people were into helping. Since July 2017, we've made 2,000 or more lunches. Hey guys, I just wanted to say hi and that on Sunday I am passing out lunches. So if you guys want to come and help, that would be awesome. So see you guys later. Bye. Who wants to make sandwiches? I'm doing peanut butter. Okay. A lot of my friends have actually come and help. Do you want to core apples and then put them into sandwich bags? Decorating the bags and making the lunches, I know that they're going to go to someone that needs it. Who can make more slices of their item first? Three, two, one. I win! The message I'm trying to give is that they can be inspired to help others and that they can be happy. It just makes me feel really good inside. Today is Sunday and I'm giving away 60 lunches with my friends and family. Thank you, Leah. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. A lot of people treat them like they're not even humans, and but they are and this shouldn't be happening to them. Thank you. You're welcome. It was really nice to see everyone. Instead of being sad, they were happy. Anytime he has seen somebody struggling, hurting, upset, he would always step in. Hi, James. There's this man named James. Can I put this in your bag? He's not homeless, but he travels all the way to be in Harvard Square because there's so many people. Do you want to do that handshake? He's super friendly, and he taught me this secret handshake. One of the most important things that we do is the acknowledgement. It, it really is more important than the food. All right, bye, James. Liam has stuck with us. Right? This is his mission. He didn't just say, oh, I'm gonna do this for a little while. Oh, this is too hard. I don't wanna walk three miles every time we do this, it's raining. So I was really honored to present him with the Luminary Award from the Mayor's Office, which we give uh, every year to a number of folks in the community, all of whom much older than Liam. And it says, your light shines bright in Cambridge. We did a turkey drive together. He's really expanded from just the lunches and doing so much more. Liam is absolutely our partner. Hildebrand Family Self-Help Center is a family shelter provider. This is all kids' books. When I met Scott and Liam, 
Liam was 10 at the time and we actually started talking about how many 10 year olds we had in shelter at that point. And he said, you know, I wanna do more. I wanna do something to help. We've done supply drives with them for toys, for Christmas, for holidays. We've done school supply drives. The Legos of Love came about by, we were thinking of the toy supply drive. I had a lot of Legos and we donated all of the Legos to Hildebrand. I have been out there on the lunch deliveries. No matter what's happening, he wants to give them healthy treats. Well, that's real food. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. He wants to have a conversation and say hello and make them feel welcome. Would you like a lunch? Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, guys. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Being able to provide that kind of hope to someone means the world. And it's amazing that he does that on his own time all the time. We wanted to be able to make more lunches because we kept running out too early. Also to hand out lunches more efficiently. This is our new electric cart and we were able to purchase it with the help of our GoFundMe. Completely solar powered, space to cook sternos, care packages, emergency blankets, and many other items. Liam is one of the most good-hearted people I have ever met in my life. Three words to describe Liam. Powerful, inspiring, passionate. Liam is gonna change the world. I'm definitely proud that I've come all this way to make that many lunches. You just have to start small, get help from friends, and do something that you love. Mm -hmm.